Here's a radioactive decay series. Uh, these unstable isotopes, the heavier ones in particular, tend to not just undergo one step of radioactive decay, but the isotopes that are uh, a result of the radioactive decay themselves are in turn unstable and they will continue to undergo radioactive decay. And this is just an example of the uranium-238 radioactive decay series. This is where you start. You start up here with uranium-238. Um, and uranium-238 is an unstable isotope. It will undergo alpha decay, which means giving off a little helium nucleus, to give thorium-234, which will then um, undergo a radioactive decay itself to give off beta emission to form protactium. It is unstable protactium-234. It will undergo beta emission to give uranium-234, et cetera, et cetera. Here's uh, radium, and here's radon. Uh, radon is a gas. This is the source of radon. Uh, radon gas comes as a decay product from uranium-238. Uranium-238 is found in rocks. And um, as it undergoes radioactive decay, one of the decay products is radon-222. That's a gas, and that gas can seep out of the Earth and cause problems for people. We'll talk more about that later. Um, it, the, the decay continues all the way down to lead, um, which has an atomic number of 82, and lead is stable. Lead-206 is stable, and the radioactive decay series ends there.